there is a phenomenon that lets stagnant rainwater turn blood red. For this to happen, it is completely irrelevant where or in what kind of vessel rainwater gathers. The only thing necessary for this blood water magic to occur is exposure to sunlight. Like here in this case, rainwater gathered in an abandoned salad bowl. Now, when you put a drop of water taken from this bowl under the microscope, you see these peculiar creatures, the so-called blood rain alga. It can swim, do photosynthesis and reproduce. When conditions like temperature, nutrients, water depth and sunlight intensity are favorable, the green swarmers can be found in great numbers. But where do nutrients come from in more or less pure rainwater? When rainwater gathers for longer time, it starts to attract for some reason all sorts of insects that start to drown in it. Bacteria and fungi start to decompose these insects and create a fertile environment. Temporary water bodies like these almost behave like a predator and become something like a simple digestive system. Algae like Hematococcus thrive under these conditions. And then there is of course the spore form, which is quite iconic and gives Hematococcus its name. Hematococcus quite literally means red kernel or grain. The red spores of Hematococcus are part of air plankton, on windy days especially. They are washed down by the rain and can immediately start to colonize temporary bodies of water. If conditions turn unfavorable, the swarmers start to turn red, lose their flagella and settle down into a biofilm. The cells start to thicken their walls and produce immense concentrations of the carotenoid astaxanthin, which gives Hematococcus this intense red color. This compound is essentially Hematococcus's sunscreen. It blocks harmful UV rays. Astaxanthin is used industrially by humans, especially for food production. So, for example, eggs, salmon or all kinds of crustaceans contain copious amounts of astaxanthin. It is responsible for the red coloration of salmon and for lobsters turning red when boiled. The yellow of the egg yolk also gets more intense, thanks to astaxanthin. Hematococcus is grown industrially to harvest astaxanthin for the food industry or animal feed. So, not only is Hematococcus quite fascinating and beautiful to watch, but very likely we have eaten it. We have a quite intimate relationship with Hematococcus. I find this quite remarkable. I hope you like this little dive into the world of Hematococcus pluvialis. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.